All right, thanks for watching. And did he go completely crazy? Yes, he did. Because today we will find the matrix root of a matrix. More precisely, we'll find the 2 minus 1 minus 3 second root of 1, 0, minus 3, 2. <laughs> I know, completely crazy, but this is math. We can do whatever we want. Now, what do we want to find? So by analogy, the nth root of x, that's just x to the 1 over n, so what we want is 1, 0, minus 3, 2 to the 1 over 2 minus 1 minus 3, 2, so 2 minus 1 minus 3, 2 inverse. But luckily, this thing, this inverse is easy to calculate because it has determinant 1, so it just becomes 1, 0, minus 3, 2, and I believe it's just 2, 2, 1, 3. So 2, 1, 3, 2. Now the question is, how do we evaluate this power? Well, I have done a video on this where we find matrix powers. But here the trick is just to write x as e to the ln of x. So this is just e to the ln of 1, 0, minus 3, 2, and then times 2, 1, 3, 2. And of course, I could have done 2, 1, 3, 2 times ln, which would give you a different answer. So technically, we would have to say left power or right power. But here I choose the right power, because right is always right. I don't know. OK, and now the question is, how do we evaluate this? So this comes to the next segment. So to evaluate this, we want to do three things. We first want to calculate ln of this matrix, then multiply it by 2, 1, 3, 2, and finally exponentiate it. And how do we evaluate ln of a matrix? The trick is simply to diagonalize. So the first step is, again, for the ln of 1, 0, minus 3, 2. We just want to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. And small correction, you're going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix. I'm just going to tell you what they are, because they are lambda equals 1, for the eigenvector 1, 3, I believe, and lambda equals 2 for the eigenvector 0, 1. Yeah. And by the way, small remark, this is triangular, so actually it's easy to read off the eigenvalues. But for eigenvectors, you have to find the null spaces. But what, do, what does that tell us? Well, it tells you that the matrix 1, 0, minus 3, 2, that is just 1, 3, 0, 1, so the eigenvectors times the corresponding eigenvalues, 1, 0, 0, 2, and then times 1, 0, 3, 1, inverse. OK, and how do you do ln of that? Well, to take weird functions of matrices, the nice thing here is, because you diagonalize it, you just need to put ln on the diagonal entries. So ln of 1, 0, minus 3, 2. That is ln of 1, 0, 0, 0, ln of 2. But ln of 1 is just 0. So this just simplifies to 0, 0, 0, ln of 2. All right, and then what is the inverse of this matrix? Again, not too bad, because this means, I think, add three times the first row to the second row. So to undo this, you subtract three times the first row to the second row. So it's just 1, 0, min minus 3, 1. Yeah. And then you calculate this. So this then becomes 1, 0, 3, 1, and then 0, 0, all right, minus 3 ln of 2, and then ln of 2, which if you want, it's just ln of 2 times 1, 0, 3, 1, and then 0, 0, minus 3, 1. 
And you calculate that, so this becomes ln of 2. And I think you get 0, 0. And believe it or not, the same matrix, 0, 0, minus 3, 1. All right, that is very good. We found the ln part. And all we want to do now is multiply this by 2, 1, 3, 2. So in our second step, let's do that. So again, all we want is now ln of 2 times 0, 0, minus 3, 1, and then times 2, 1, 3, 2. And again, you can just calculate this. So this is ln of 2, again, 0, 0, again, minus 6 plus 3, that's minus 3, and minus 3 plus 2, that's minus 1. So almost the same matrix, but just be careful of this minus 1. Which, again, if you want, that is just 0, 0, minus 3, ln of 2, and minus ln of 2. Great. So we found, again, ln of that matrix. We multiplied this by 2, 1, 3, 2. And last but not least, we want to find e to that matrix. So what you have to do here is you have to exponentiate. So you have to diagonalize. All right, and again, just as before, let me tell you the diagonal entries, or let me tell you the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. But I said diagonal entries because this is also like triangular, so the eigenvalues are just 0 and minus ln of 2. And I believe for lambda equals 0, an eigenvector is simply uh, 1 minus 3. And for the eigenvalue, lambda is minus ln of 2. I believe an eigenvector is simply a a 0, 1. OK, so what does that tell you about this matrix 0, 0, minus 3 ln of 2 and minus ln of 2? So it just tells you the following, 0, 0, minus 3 ln of 2 and minus ln of 2. That is 1 minus 3, 0, 1. So again, eigenvectors times 0, 0, 0 minus ln of 2. And the matrix inverse. So 1, 0, minus 3, 1 inverse. And again, first of all, the inverse here is also easy to calculate. The opposite of subtracting 3 times is adding 3 times. So 1, 0, 3, 1. And last but not least, remember our goal is to exponentiate. So to exponentiate this, you exponentiate the diagonal entries. But e to the 0, that is 1. And e of minus ln of 2, that's 1 half. So in fact, no more lns. That's nice. Sorry, ln DeGeneres. But it's my time to shine now. OK, and then what we get is 1, 0, minus 3, 1. And then we get 1, 0, I believe 3 halves, 1 half, which now becomes, I think, just 1, 0. And then minus 3 plus 3 halves, so minus 3 halves. And then 0, 1 half, so 1 half. And this is, lo and behold, the 2 minus first minus 3 second root of 1, 0, minus 3, 2. And again, do what you want with this information. I don't know what this is useful for. And to be honest, I don't care because it's just beautiful as it is. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.